Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today we got a foundation review. This is on the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. And so I'm actually pretty excited to try this foundation because I got a couple swatches in store, and when I put it on in store, I was like, but it was just a, a simple swatch, so I, I don't know anything yet, but I was quite intrigued from the swatch. So we're gonna be doing a full day wear test. I actually have two colors swatched on my face right now. So I'll be showing you shades 330 and 350, just so you can get an idea as to how both shades look on my complexion. And then of course, I'll be wearing this all day and sharing my thoughts at the end of the day. Stay tuned for all of that. But before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel. With all of your likes and your comments, they all truly do mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. The of the day is a simple pink t-shirt from Target, nothing special about it. And then my jeans are the 1822 maternity jeans. So this I did get for Christmas. I'm so excited about them, really loving them. These are the 1822 maternity jeans. They are the vintage denim um, ankle skinny jeans. So they come to about right here on the ankle, very stretchy and comfortable. You all know that I really enjoy their maternity jeans. So I got a nice dark like indigo denim. Color. And then I can't remember where I picked these earrings up, probably from Walmart somewhere like a long time ago. My um, headband is from Amazon and if I can find them, I will link it down below, but I bought it a while ago. So I don't know if this headband will still be sold on Amazon. So let's get into why you're really here, this Fenty Powder Foundation. So this particular foundation retails for $36. It does come in 50 shades, just like her Pro Long Wear Foundation. And the shade colors are the same from the liquid foundation to the powder foundation, which is good because if you know what shade you wear in the liquid foundation, then you automatically know what shade you wear in the powder foundation. This is what the outside of the foundation looks like. I really like this um, like kind of glossy outer packaging of it. This is, oh, Vicky, I got the wrong shade. Uh, I just noticed I picked up the wrong shade. I'm so annoyed with myself, I could just. Here is the uh, posterior portion of the packaging. I was supposed to have picked up shade 330. I got shade 350. Anyway, we'll make it work. I'm just a little annoyed at myself. <laughs> this is what the inside of the packaging looks like. I just really enjoy the packaging of this powder foundation and it does come with a nice size mirror. Don't wanna blind you all, but a nice size mirror to where you could definitely you know, use this compact to do your makeup. This particular compact does flip up and then you get a little sponge applicator here as well. But what's cool though, is that on the sponge applicator side, you get a larger magnified mirror, which is pretty cool. Interesting. We get a total of 0.32 ounces or 9.1 grams of product. This is a light as air powder foundation that gives you light to full coverage with a soft matte finish. And so the formulation is a pressed powder, obviously. It's free of parabens and phthalates, and it's vegan, gluten-free, as well as cruelty-free. So they say that this powder delivers a non-cakey, blurred finish with no flashback. The buildable light to full coverage formula loves to be layered without setting into fine lines or clogging the look of pores. It's also sweat, humidity, increased resistant, Plus it has a chic portable compact and I'm going to agree to this chic portable compact. So on my face are swatches of shades 330 and 350. Right here we, is where we have shade 330 and in my opinion, it looks like a spot on really good shade match. Shade 330 is described as tan skin with warm undertones and I think this shade match is really, really good in comparison to my skin without any foundation. Over here, we have shade 350. Shade 350 is described for tan skin with cool neutral undertones. This is the shade that I normally wear in the Pro Liquid foundation. And I think this shade would work pretty decently for the summertime when I'm more tanned. But as of right now, shade 330 is the better match. So I am gonna go back and get shade 330 so I can have the better shade match for now. But I can work with shade 350 because 
it's not too dark. We can we can make that work. So I already put on primer. I use the Surat the Perfectionista primer, and I used it right here in my T zone, along here, and then um, right along here down my nose. I put this primer on before I started this video, so I could have time to let it set absorb into the skin because since this is a powder foundation, I did not want to go in directly right after putting on my primer and then any like, you know, patchiness or stickiness of the powder adhere to the primer because it wasn't dry. So I would recommend doing that as well, especially if you're going to use, you know, a hydrating primer um, because this is a powder foundation. So I'm going in with my Sonia G Smooth Buffer Brush. So just patting my brush in here picking up a decent amount of product, and we start blending this into the skin. All right, so this is the foundation blended into the skin, and I, this, this is what I was talking about, y'all. When I applied those swatches in store, I was like, ooh, this seems like a really soft, almost velvety type of texture that, like, kind of got me really excited. This looks really, really pretty on the skin. As we can see, this shade match is definitely a little too deep for my complexion, um, but we can make this work. I should have put concealer on first so that I wouldn't have any like cakiness or you know funny looking uh, clumping of the powder um, right here under my eyes. So I'm gonna adjust that so I can put my concealer on, but word to the wise, apply any of your liquid products first and then apply the powder foundation, just so you don't have any issues with that. But it feels so smooth on the skin. I think for what I have applied, I have applied a nice like light to medium type of layer of this powder foundation because my freckles are still apparent. I also nicked, so I was shaving my face and I nicked myself right here and I can still see, coming a little closer so y'all can see, I can still see like the scar, like the, you know, the little scratches here from where I nicked my face. But I think this, I'm gonna come a little closer. I think this foundation looks so pretty on the skin. I mean, I wish y'all could just feel my face. It feels so smooth and like, oh, I'm here for this. Fenty says that this particular foundation has no flashback. Let's test it real quick and then we will come back. So we don't see any flashback in the picture. So that claim of there being no flashback did hold up to being accurate. Um, I also went in with my Lila B concealer. So this is the shade B Lively and I used my finger to apply it right under here. This concealer is creamy, but it's not overly emollient. So I felt like it would have been a good choice of concealer being that I had already put some powder like right along this area of my face. There was no picking up of the foundation underneath it. It, which was good um so we're good to go with that i also thought i was already filming when i initially did this check-in and i went on ahead <laughs> and showed you all applying the foundation with the sponge applicator so sorry guys <laughs> Um, so I decided to go in with a sponge applicator to see if I could build this particular foundation up to a more full coverage. And I will say, even though I'm sorry I did not film it, I had some redness still left on my nose, went in with the sponge applicator and the product, and it definitely gave me more coverage on my nose right here. I also was able to build up the foundation on my chin and dulled some of my scarring on my chin. Um, this little bit of scarring that I have here from when I scratch myself, if I kind of press the powder in, I feel like we're able to dull that area even more. So I do feel like if you wanted to go full coverage with this particular foundation, I think the coverage is definitely buildable to where you can get yourself up to full coverage. I would say a strong medium to full type of coverage you could easily get with using the powder puff. Um, with my Sonia G buffer brush, I think this particular brush will get me night get me to like a nice medium, but I don't think it's dense enough to get me to actual full coverage like this puff did. So if you have a puff that you like to use to get you more coverage with a powder foundation, or you have an even denser brush, then I do think this particular foundation will build up to a nice 
full medium, maybe even full coverage. In terms of how it feels on the skin, it doesn't feel dry on the skin, which I'm really, really happy about because I'm not one to reach for a powder foundation simply because I don't want my skin to look too dry. I like that more radiant type of look. But in my opinion, this doesn't look too dry on the skin to where I feel like, ah, oh, I need some type of setting spray to you know, give my skin a little bit more life and also to make it not feel so parched. Very happy about that. Okay, so I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup, come back and show you what that all looks like. And then of course I will check back in at the end of the day to share with you my final thoughts. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back with all of the makeup on my face. I do have two different eye looks because I did film a video yesterday um, using the Pat McGrath Mothership 3 Subversive Palette. So those are the colors on my eyes. For the rest of my face, I went in with the Fenty Beauty Matte Bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie. I also used the Patrick Staub Duo Blush in Do We Know Her, and I just went in with the Powder Blush. And then for my highlight, I used the shade Skin Show Fever from the Subversive Palette. So the shade right here is what I have for my highlight. For my lips, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in the shade JK Magic. But here we are foundation check-in and I think the foundation looks overall still very good. So I've had this foundation on now for probably a good hour and I'm liking how everything looks on the face. Everything looks really nice and smooth. That's the one thing that I keep kind of coming back to, just this smooth velvety look. I did apply a little bit of the Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder underneath my eyes to just kind of set the concealer that I did apply. Um, and then of course I have all other powder products on my face. And for me, you all know I love me a dewy look. I like the radiance, I like the glow. Ironically, I don't feel like, and you guys let me know, I don't feel like my face looks overall too matte. Do I wanna use my Lila B spray? Yes, like that's just a given. But do I feel like I have to put some type of setting spray on my face because I feel just way too matte and dry. No, I don't feel that way, which I'm really shocked at. Um, I have pretty normal skin, and so I tend to not wanna always look too dry. I don't think anybody wants to look too dry. Um, but I'm really, really liking how it looks. Guys, I'm not gonna set my face because I just wanna see how my oils, when they do come through, how they play in with the powder foundation. I also don't wanna take away from what this overall look looks like um, so that you can get a better idea as to how you would like it on your skin and how you feel you know, it would work for you. So we're not gonna set the face, we're gonna go about our day and then I will check in at the end of the day to share with you my final thoughts. So stay tuned. We are back at the end of the day. I've had this foundation on now for a little over eight hours and let's just see how things are looking. So at first glance, I definitely have some oils breaking through around my nose. And that is typically where I do start to see any of my oils coming through, if they are going to come through. I do feel like I am seeing a little more oiliness than I normally do. And my assumption is going to be because it is a powder foundation, maybe it is slightly a little more, when I say heavy, not heavy feeling, but just it's more powder maybe on my face than what I normally apply. Um, especially like around my nose, I typically just do a light dusting of the setting powder, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. That's a very, very light powder. So my assumption is that this area might've been a little more powdered down than normal, which might have made my pores feel a little more mattified which have might triggered my oil glands to produce more oils because that's how the body works. However, everywhere else is looking spectacular. You guys, I am so blown away by this foundation because like, I did not think I was gonna like this. I was like, I'm gonna get this foundation because it's new. Fenty came out with a powder foundation. I'm gonna review it. I hope I like it, but I was like, I'm not a powder foundation person. I was proven wrong by this one. I am loving how the rest of my face looks. I'm gonna take my Wayne Goss The Airbrush Brush and just blot around my nose. And look at that. I mean, I am, <laughs> I am blown away by this particular foundation. I just really, like I said, from, from the beginning, I've been saying this just feels so velvety soft on the skin and that 
is how I feel it looks on the skin. And even after eight hours of wear, I feel like it still looks like this. I am really, really liking this foundation. I did go back to Sephora because I'm just that type of person where if I need to return something, I want to do it right away. So I did go back to Sephora and I got the shade that would look better on me, 330. Um, and so granted, you can't really tell the difference between how it looks in the pan and on my face, but I did show you that difference um, in the beginning of the video. So I didn't think to do this earlier and I'm so sorry for this, you all, but <laughs> I have the shade 350 in the liquid foundation and I should have done swatches of the powder foundation in 350 and the liquid foundation in the shade 350. I don't know why I didn't think to do that, but I didn't do that. However, let's see if we can somewhat see a difference. So this is what 350 looks like on the back of my hand. And then I'll put it on my neck. We all know pretty much that the Fenty foundation does oxidize a bit once on the skin, but I do feel like this shade of the powder foundation could be a little deeper than the actual liquid foundation. To confirm that, I was talking to Vicky J and she watched Angela Renee's video, and I'll link it down below so that you all can reference that. And she did actually did like swatch comparisons from the liquid foundation and the shade that she wears and the powder foundation that she wears. And she also said that she feels like the powder foundation is a little deeper in tone than the liquid foundation. So that is something to think about. If you can go in store and swatch the shades side by side, then I would go ahead and do that. So that is something to think about. Take note of if you're gonna order this product, you know, just take into consideration the shade. Um, I don't think the difference is so drastic that you would have to maybe go you know, down two full shades. But like I said, when I went into the store and swatched 330, which is what I'm showing now compared to 350, I felt like 330 blended into the skin to where you could see no line of demarcation of where I didn't have on foundation to this one compared to shade 350. If you're a powder foundation lover, mm, you're gonna love this foundation. I also feel like this particular foundation, I really feel could work for a plethora of skin types. And what I mean by this, of course, if you're oily, it's it, it, I think it'll be a slam go. Combination oily, slam go. Um, normal skin, which is where I typically fall into, I think no problem at all. Dry skin, I think you could work with this. Like I said, it doesn't feel dry on the skin. Even after I finished applying all of my makeup and I used multiple powder products on my face. The only liquid product that I used on my face was my concealer. And I wouldn't even say that it's liquid, it's cream. Um, I didn't feel cakey. I didn't feel like my face just looked like a, a Sahara Desert dry. And my face did not feel dry, which is also amazing. So I think if you have dry skin and you go in with your hydrating primer, let that sit for, you know, five or so minutes, give it some time to absorb into the skin, I think you could pull this off as well. And because the formula is flexible in its um, coverage, if you had drier skin, maybe go in with just a light layer to just kind of maybe cover some redness, dull down some pigmentation, you'd be good to go. And then like I said, of course, if you wanted to pack on more coverage, either go in with the sponge that comes with this particular compact, or if you have a sponge that you like to use, go in with that. But I am highly impressed by this. I'm definitely glad that I gave it a try because uh, this is gonna go in my drawer because I will be using this. Definitely for those like quick makeup days when I wanna kinda just throw something on my face, but I also don't wanna feel like I have to do like a whole routine with it. And I feel like too, if I wanted to really glam it up, I could put on my liquid foundation and top it with the powder foundation just to give like that full on glam type of look. So. I think Fenty did an excellent job with this particular product and formulation. Like I said earlier, I love the packaging of this foundation. Like I am here for it. So those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you're interested in this foundation, how you feel it wore, how you feel it looks. I, like I want to know all the details. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.